even as we came in prayer yesterday, you can begin again is recovering your destiny from devastation. Exactly. The purpose of this um, this moment with you each week is to share with you how the worst part of your life can yet bring greaterness. As we get ready to pray, we're going to pray that God will give you beauty for ashes, that he'll give you the oil of joy for mourning, mm -hmm. and even the garment of praise for what was once the spirit of heaviness. Mm -hmm. Would you start out? And I do want to share this before mm -hmm. we pray, is that if it gets very frustrating at times when you have been a prayer warrior and you somehow get discouraged and you, the enemy wants you not to pray because there's something that happens when you pray. When you pray, you begin to bind the hand of the enemy and he hates for you to get by yourself. He hates for you to get with your family and pray. Yes. So I want to encourage everyone to get back, find that zeal for God like you have. Return back to your first love, which is God, and you will find that through prayer. Yes. And when you pray, you will see the hand of God, the protection of God, the grace of God, the favor of God yes. begin to fall on your life like never before. Or seek God this year. Seek God 090909. But seek him this year like never before through prayer because prayer does change things. Yes. Father, we thank you today. Yes. And we give you praise for another day to be able to come and touch and agree. Yes, we thank you, Lord, as we pray for these individuals. We first come to you. We ask you, Lord, to forgive us for all of our sins that are known and unknown. Lord, that we want to be pure and right before you. We pray for these individuals that are watching us right now, that whatever it is that they need, that they will be touched through prayer today, and they will see you move like never before. They will see your hand move in their lives like never before. Father, let this be a 911 urgency to every believer that it's time to get back on our knees and return back to you through prayer, for you are waiting with an open heart and open yes. arms to receive our prayers, Lord. Father, we thank you for covering each and every individual's life, their mind, and let them know, God, that whatever devastation has hit their lives and whatever turmoil they have yes. been in, that, God, you are ready to restore and you are ready to recover all. Yes. Father, we thank you that you are a God of second chances, third chances, fourth chances, and, Father, we thank you in the name of Jesus that today we all can begin again through you, yes. through your power of grace and love, yes. and we thank you right now that as my fiance and I touch and agree for every believer that you will continue to show others that they can go farther in you. We thank you for these things in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Father, we thank you yes, for Lord. all that you've done and all mm -hmm. that you said and the blessings thereby. Yes, Lord. And we thank you for the moment to touch and agree. And we know if your people who are called by your name shall yes. humble themselves and pray, seek your face and turn from their wicked ways. Then shall you hear from heaven, forgive our sins and yes. heal our land. Lord, we touch and agree with every person that is watching right now. Yes. Let the anointing come resident in their very place and their person, whether it's even in their home, on their job, any location where they're at. Lord, yes. minister to their spirit right now. Even let the tears that are flowing from persons right now, their very eyes, be tears of remembrance and tears of celebration, as well as tears of healing. Yes. I thank you for the few moments that we've had to speak, and I thank you for the next eight weeks that we're getting ready to share to empower and bless lives like never before. Father, you're a God that will take us from the place of devastation and cause us to recover every prophetic word of destiny that sits upon our life. We thank you, Lord, that there is a wave and a moving around the world, yes. around this globe of prayer. And we thank you that you will draw us with attentive ears. Now, Father, I even agree and touch with everything that prophet has said and add, the yes. Lord, that you will watch over the pastors and the leaders of the church yes. today. The Father, that you will speak into the heart and give them a sensitivity that they will even lead their flock, the believers, into a moment of seeking you like never before. Yes, even those ministries that don't have daily prayer, let the prayer that hits that house before yes. services in the time minister and cause there to be a great anointing. Let sickness and disease and any curse be destroyed by the power yes. of prayer. Lord, let the doors of blessings of salvation and yes. clarity, purpose and pursuit be open through the eyes and understanding that come through prayer. Yes. And Father, for those right now that have had a burden heart. We ask that you will do just that which you said in your word, that you will take ashes and give them beauty, yes. that you will take that which used to be the morning and give them the oil of joy, which will bring strength like never before. Yes. I that, Father, that you will also give them increase from
them the spirit of the heaviness and give them a garment of praise. Yes. We ask for those that have special needs right now because they have watched this and they have listened and they have sought a heart to pray. Mm -hmm. Let your hand move and let miracles and signs and wonders be done by the name of your holy child. Yes. And Father, we thank you that we know the fullness of the Godhead as the Father, Son, and Holy Spirit yes, yes. as we claim all of this to be done in the name that you are. And we thank you that it's done now. Yes, Lord. In Jesus' name. Yes. Amen. Amen. And amen. Amen. We thank God for the opportunity just to spend this moment with you. And remember, we're not here just because we opened up our Bible. We're here because God put his hand on our lives. Yes. We had prayer, praying parents and a praying family. And we had praying churches. And now our ministry starts because we put God first through prayer. So make sure that whether you're single or you're dating or you're married, take moments to have moments of prayer. Even in the midst of when you don't understand what God is doing, take time for prayer. Thank you so much for tuning in. We're excited about, again, your feedback. Send it to us. We'll be looking forward to it. Next week, we start an awesome time about the recovering your destiny from devastation mm -hmm. and principle number one about you can begin to build. God bless you. Hi, obviously you know I'm Bishop Thomas Richard Curry and Prophetess Christina Glenn. We're out just getting a little bit to eat, but I want to tell you, this is actually Labor Day, and this has been the best Labor Day of my life. I have the gift of my future. We're getting ready to celebrate an awesome wedding celebration day. Of course, you know about it, and I want to thank God on this great holiday for making me so excited about having the awesomeness of you. I tell you, the last four or five months have been just totally beyond my dreams. The Lord said something to me, and He promised me. He said, my ladder will be greater than my fourth. And I want to thank God that He didn't let me down. And I promise you, when you begin again, you'll make sure that it is unreal. Well, I'm just so glad to be with you here today, honey, on this Labor Day. We have had so much fun from movies to enjoying good food. God has really given us a... And wait, you can begin again, new beginning. And that's what it's all about celebrating at this Labor Day weekend. It's all about new beginnings and being so excited. God has blessed you with the awesome man of God. And I'm just glad we have a lot of fun today. So we're getting ready to sign up, but just know, I hope you're having as much fun as we're having today, beginning again. Let's see, sir.